This is Pakistan's first mall built to international specifications. Dolman Mall in the city by the sea. About a third of the shops here are British and at least half of the brands are international. It's not a case of do I come to Pakistan, it's a case of when do I come to Pakistan if you want market share. With a population of around 195 million people and counting, it's not just spending power but footfall that's making a difference here. And Britain is leading the way by bringing big brand names to the retail industry in Pakistan. Now it's part of your job to go back to the UK and convince brands and companies to come and invest in Pakistan. Is that a challenge? It is a challenge, and I'd have to be honest that it is a challenge because the perception can be very different from the reality. But it's very interesting that the team that opened Debenhams here in Karachi just a few months ago was the same team that opened Debenhams first store in Northern Ireland in Belfast in 1989. So there is a direct read across for actually an audience from the UK to understand what's happening here. The security situation in Pakistan has long been a concern for investors. But the success at Dolman Mall is bucking the trend. We are very happy. This is like the mall we mo I mean, visit all the time. Uh, d definitely because of the international brands that are available here. Can you see the amount of people over here? Do you think that this is not a safe country? You can just see the people around. They're shopping. They're spending a lot of money. And I think I was here today and I have spent almost everything that I had. Yasin Paracha is a local businessman. He started out making stuffed toys. He's now a successful franchisee working with international brands like Timberland, Crocs, Next, Mothercare and Debenhams. Is it profitable? It's very profitable with low wages of which are around 4% of revenues with an EBITDA of over 14%. I think it's a fantastic business to be in. What about the Pakistani consumer? How are they responding to all of this? What are they actually buying? It's been an amazing response. Uh, ever since we've opened uh, the first store, um, they've been very welcoming. They love the fact that all the brands that they could only find internationally are now available in Pakistan. And as far as product, everything sells, but of course the best sellers are the kids wear, lingerie does very well, footwear, and anything that's fashionable. I think it's great for our country, it's great for the economy, and uh, I'm very personally extremely happy because now we have a place to hang out and uh, you know do our shopping in Pakistan as well. Our local uh, products are being neglected in this way because people go for those uh, pro uh, international items and we don't, they don't buy the local products. I think it gives us, uh, in one word, hope that, you know, Pakistan is going to be something that we want it to be. It's not just customers who are happy with the success of this mall. Businesses, too, are profiting. And one of the brands here has a top two performing store globally in like-for-like -like retail sales for three consecutive seasons. We're seeing a very healthy pipeline of trade and investment coming in here. And I think that says something about the underlying confidence, in particular in retail, in the Pakistani economy. And that's not all. British officials say they're also working to spread investments into healthcare, education and the pharmaceutical industries. Simon Mawson, CNN, Karachi.